Good morning guys, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. Today should be a, a good day to film because I'm on the go in the morning and then I have some new things, not my like boring Marin staples. I'm actually going to be making um, some new things later on. But starting out this morning, I am going to be prepping my breakfast to take with me because I'm going to go work out at my gym and then I have a facial at 11.30 and so I don't want to like have to go back here um, and I'm not going to have to shower because it's like freezing out so I'm, I'm, I don't really sweat so I'm just going to go from my gym to like my library to work and then head back to my facial which is like further downtown anyway so it makes more sense for me to pack a breakfast with me. Um, so I'm going to make some overnight oats but they'll just be sitting for like two to three hours instead and I'm gonna pack those with me and then I'll be back here for the rest of the day. So first off, I'm gonna be prepping that overnight oats and I'll show you everything I'm putting into that. So the first thing I'm adding is about a two-third cup of rolled oats. When I do a lot of add-ins, I don't do a full cup, I do like two-thirds, but if I'm doing like just oats and like chia seeds or something like that, I'll do a full cup. Next I'm adding in about a half teaspoon of psyllium husk. This is just like added fiber that I don't need, but I like the way it makes the texture of the oats. <laughs> then I'm adding in some beet juice powder, a teaspoon of poppy seeds, and a good amount of cinnamon. Then with all the dry ingredients, this is the fun part, you just get to shake it up. So for my wet ingredients, I'm going to be putting a bit of pumpkin puree in there because I think pumpkin puree and oats give such a great texture, so I do it. I honestly, pumpkin puree and everything adds a great texture, so I do that a lot. Um, so yeah, just adding in like maybe a fourth cup, maybe like three tablespoons, I don't know, just kind of eyeballing a general lump. And pouring in the almond milk. Yes, I'm stirring this with a knife because I'm too lazy to get out <laughs> a spoon for now. Um, make sure if you're always doing this that like, you get the bottom because sometimes the bottom like doesn't stir in. Finally, I'm just adding in a dash of stevia. Even though the beet juice powder is pretty sweet, I have like a huge sweet tooth so I like always add stevia. Then I'm going to be adding some blueberries on top of this. So that's everything I'll have in here. And then I'm also bringing with me this Nutzo Power Fuel like nut butter packet. It has like a couple tablespoons of nut butter in here so that I can just bring it with me and I don't have to put it on top and get it all mixed in because I don't like my nut butter like with my fruit on top. I like it like at the bottom basically. I'm so weird with the way things if you've seen like my salads and all. But basically I'm just going to pack these um, with this and take a little spoon with me. So before I head out, I'm going to be having a banana as a snack, just so I have something to eat before before I work out, even though it's really cold out, and so like fruit is not, oh, it's bruised. Oh well, it's fine. This is the audiobook I'm listening to, by the way. It's called The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. It's a really good audiobook for like high performing people that I'd are looking to conquer your hidden fear and take life to the next level. I always keep like old plastic containers in my freezer so I can compost things like this. Underripe banana peels because that was not as ripe and brown and spotty as I would like it to be. Going to work out, and I will show you when I'm eating breakfast, like at the library or wherever I eat it. Um, and then I'll be back, I'll be back here for lunch.
So excuse my insanely messy counter, but for this, I'm literally just taking like mustard and maple syrup and like slathering it. Uh, or actually, I just like a dollop and then like that. And then I mix it. This is really inefficient. Like sometimes I add spices, but I'm feeling super duper lazy today and literally just doing mustard and maple syrup. Shit, this is getting everywhere. Oh shit, I should have steamed these first. That just like makes them better overall. But it's fine. I'm just going to let this sit for a bit. Actually, I'm going to add paprika. That was a lot. <laughs> um, and let it marinate, I suppose, for a bit. So now I have my steamed sweet potatoes here and just going to air fry them. Add in, ooh, that does not look, that does not look good. Two of these sweet potatoes are like weird, weird looking. Um, I'm going to air fry them with the tempeh and have that just all in there ready to go. So I know my air fryer is super fucking loud right now, but my imperfect foods or imperfect produce um, box just came in and um, it's basically like excess and surplus or imperfect produce they send it to you at discounted prices and I got this like box of organic groceries with all the little things I need which is so exciting like pumpkin carrots which I always need tomatoes apples parsley some squash um, have a cucumber underneath there and I don't think my avocados are ripe yet so I can't use those today but I'm definitely going to be using some of these in upcoming recipes today and in the future so that was a recording and that was really sad because I just got a big like really nice looking dollop of dressing in here and it looked cool like going in but basically I'm just um tossing my greens in this lemon tahini dressing as like two tablespoons of tahini maybe a teaspoon of lemon juice and there's so an easier way to do this I'm sure but like I'm just going to throw this around here my um my air fryer things just finished cooking the uh, little bell just went off and everything ooh that looks looks all good and crispy so I'm about to add some things in and then eat this all together. So, finished everything, putting everything together here in this salad. Um, some of the sweet potatoes and tempeh kind of fell to the bottom because they're heavy, but I have all the sweet potato and the tempeh that was air fried. I just have some raw corn, a little bit of raw cucumber, and some pickled cabbage on top. Now I'm Adding in just a bit of black pepper on top. And a bit of Bragg's herb seasoning. So now that's everything I'm going to have for lunch. Very rainbowy, very ready. So I'm back from being out today. I um, I taught two classes. I taught like a 4.15 and a 5.30 class. I was just filling in for another yoga teacher that needed to get a sub. So I taught those two classes and I'm really, really not hungry, but which is so weird because I've moved so much today, but it's like almost eight now. So I'm gonna make something for dinner. I'm actually gonna be making a pasta recipe for Romesco pasta sauce. Um, that I need to make for my blog because people have been asking for the recipe. But in the meantime, I've actually been in the kitchen. So let me show you what I've been doing. I got a pumpkin in my Imperfect Foods box, a sugar pie pumpkin. So I roasted it so I can make pumpkin puree because I'm out and I actually need to make pumpkin puree. So this is so soft and like, honestly, it was a little long to cook, but it like looks so good. and. Um, I was roasting a pepper at the same time I like threw it in at the end because I need this for 
um, part of my dinner recipe, but it doesn't seem like it'll, um, it's not cooked enough. I'll have to put it back in. But I'm also making challah bread. Uh, my dad's Jewish and I meant to make him some for like Yom Kippur, but then my oven kind of caught on fire. Like it was, it was, uh, it was a mess. Um, so I got all like the official, like I got like white flour, white sugar, like the, the straight coconut oil, like all the things you would need for actual like hollow baked bread. Um, and I'm about to put that in the oven, so I've never made like baked, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it should turn out nice and nice and crisp and toasty, so I'm excited to send that to my dad. Um, and I'll get started on my actual dinner like in a minute here. <laughs> so I'm making some of my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, but I added in cacao powder because I was gonna make chocolate banana bread But then like none of my bananas were ripe So I just used some of the pumpkin puree the pumpkin puree. Let me show you it came out It came out like lighter um, I've seen this from several people that like when you make it yourself it comes out lighter Maybe it's just they use a different pumpkin for the canned kind because there's several kinds of pumpkin I know but anyway, um I'm baking these cookies. It's like 8.15 now. Like, I really need to get cooking dinner. So basically, I'm going to make this Romesco pasta, and I'll link below the blog post where it has all the instructions and ingredients. And with that, I'm just going to do a side of veggies. So I'll show you once it's all done, because it's, like, not... I'm just going to be, like, sautéing and steaming veggies, and then I'll put it all together for you while I bake these. I'm going to make these into muffins, actually. I'm going to put them in muffin tin, and then, yeah, go ahead with that. So I just photographed this pasta dish. Um, this is the Romesco pasta, and I'm about to add all of these veggies to that plate. Um, and I'll show you in a bit all that together. And then I made so much today in this kitchen. So with the pumpkin puree, I made my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies into, like, chocolate muffins, basically. And then I made challah for my dad. I don't know if it's a call. I, I don't know how to say it. Um, I don't know if it's, like, guttural. I'm not really Jewish. I'm, like, a phony, like, one-eighth percent. I don't know, somewhere in Jewish land. Um, but yeah, I made challah, and I think it turned out really well. Like, it's like, here, let me zoom out. It's like a loaf, um, and it's not as golden because I forgot to brush it with some more oil after it, but like, it's like ground, um, and it smells very doughy, and my whole apartment smells nice. Um, so I'm about to like plate these together with toppings. So my kitchen is an absolute shit show and like I have my dishwasher running so I can't clean any of this but basically I put the veggies with this pasta so I have like the Romesco pasta here and the veggies there. With the veggies I have some onions, garlic, um, carrots, broccoli, cherry tomatoes and kale just all cooked in curry spices and then on top I have this truff my favorite truffle hot sauce and I also have Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning and a sprinkle of hemp seeds and black pepper so my muffins over there are cooling but for now I'm going to have this as I watch Love Island because I'm a fiend for reality TV and I will be on either or both Love Island and Big Brother I swear to god okay so I'm gonna have this so for the last thing I'm having tonight, I'm going to have one of these pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, pump cho pumpkin chocolate chocolate chip muffins, um, with a bit of this Legendary Foods chocolate banana peanut butter that I'm trying to use up. So I'm going to take this and spread some on top. <laughs> so this is kind of difficult because it's like a muffin, so there's not much there, but this is all I... Okay. This cabinet is probably fucking up the lighting. That is everything I had today. So I hope this was entertaining. I hope it was yummy to watch. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you in the next video.